Hello everyone, I'm Emmanuel from the Millesim Bureau team. Um, thank you for joining this webinar. Today I'm going to give you a tool uh, on my VTBO business platform. It's where you will uh, set your stand and then send your invite, e invitation and also manage your appointments. And then we'll go to visit uh, the digital fair and uh, all the new functionalities. I really hope um, this webinar will help you um, uh, to, um, to know more about your environment for Millesimbio Digital Fair. And also you will understand all the other things you can do to improve and maximize your participation uh, to Millesimbio. Uh, for this uh, second session, you will be about 1,000 um, exhibitors, um, 40 40 exhibitors decided to not join this second session. However, we still have 10 more um, exhibitors. So thank you for them and welcome to them. Um, also, uh, we did decide to do a second session as uh, the Challenge Millennium Bill Contest could not be held in January as usual. And so all the award, award in uh, wine could not be shown uh, on the first uh, session of the of the Millesim Bio Digital Fair. So um, the Challenge Millesim Bio contest was held in February. Uh, that's why we are reopening um, the digital fair. So uh, we're going to go through um, my VTBO business. To do so, um, we'll connect first uh, to my um, to my VTBO, so where you did apply uh, to participate uh, to the Millesim Bio. So I'm going to share my screen. Here we are. OK, so here, um, this is uh, the home page when you log into my VTBO, uh, where you did um, your reservation for the Millesim Bio, and then where you did you cho your choice to say, yes, I want to participate to the second session or no. Uh, I guess if you are here, it's because you tick option A. Uh, you can see it had been taken into account because it's green here. Uh, we're going to use um, uh, an administrator account, so the Fab family here. Um, so first, I'm going to show you where you can connect, uh, where you can access to my VTB business. To do so, you'll go to your exhibitor area, just right here. So you can click on connect here. I'm going to switch it to English. First of all, there is something really important here on um, your exhibitor area that's a useful document to download. And you'll find all the communication pack and also a link to see the exhibitor's guide, just right here. Then you can go back to the dashboard. The second important thing is the catalog. So it's uh, all the record the visitor will be able to see. And you can, you are able to still modify it all along the fair until the end of the fair, actually. It will take one hour or two to be updated uh, within the digital fair, but at least you know you can change it. So you have all the um, name and contact detail of the main reference, uh, details about company, your appellation, uh, your specificities, uh, also your company profile, your current market and the new target markets here. And if you change anything, don't forget to click on the green, big green bo button here on the left. So I click, I won't click on save because I don't know if I change something without saying it. I don't, I don't want to cause them trouble. So I'm just going to click on return to overview. And then when you're ready, you can go to my VTBO business. Wherever you click, e invitation, virtual stand, 
appointment booking, it will go to my VTBO business system. When you click on it, access, and then you choose your account, manage your account. You click on it. Okay. Here we are. This is my VTBO business. We arrive on the dashboard. Two important things here. You have the first one. You have two documents here uh, that might help you. Um, the first one is preparing your participation in Millennium Bio 2021 for the second session. At the end of the first session, you received a reporting uh, of your of the fair. Uh, so you can check this record, this uh, reporting with uh, this document and it's going to help you to prepare the next session. Also, about my VTBO business, we have updated the exhibitors guide, which is available also here. Again, click on it and you'll see it. Then, second thing quite important here to remember, the key dates. Um, you'll be able uh, to access to my VTBO business and your catalog um, until the end of the fair. However, something to know, you won't be able to send um, appointment requests to visitors um, during the fair, not through um, my VTBO business. Of course, you'll be able to do it uh, directly on the digital fair platform. Uh, I'll show you how. Uh, so after the 17th of March, you will be you'll be only able to accept or refuse um, appointment requests sent by visitor only. Then we're gonna set up your virtual stand. So here we are, my virtual stand. General information. Your company data. So here it's relative to, it's linked directly to the catalog. So if you want to change anything on this part, you have to click here or just to go back to your catalog and say, yeah, I want to update. Then all the general element for the virtual stand. Something you must know, you have to know, it's a description of your activity. You have to fill in at least French or English. Uh, it can be both. It's better if, if it's both. But you have to fill in at least one. And then also the logo is mandatory. You'll find all the technical specification here. I advise when you've done that, then you directly go at the end and click on Save. So at least you have the minimum required to activate your stand, because if it's not here, your stand won't be activated. And then you can fill, it, fill in all the op optional uh, field, innovation and novelties, then awards and honors. So what is good also to see is, for example, um, the fab, fab family, they use a link here. They just say press, and then you see there is a link here. So then on, the, on their virtual stand, people will be able to directly click on this link. I'll show you then um, how it is displayed on the virtual stand. Pictures of the virtual stands. Here you can drop and drop your picture here or just click um, here and then a window will open and you can add uh, your the document you want. Also, you can add, so you, you are able to add here three pictures and three videos. About videos, it's YouTube, Vimeo, or you can have your own. It has to be MP4. I'll let you read about all the technical specification. So because I've, I haven't um, added a video, it's written no videos here. But if I add one, you'll be something else it will be something else. So just for the general information, I'm going to switch to the digital fair to show you um, how uh, it is displayed. So we are on a virtual stand uh, for the same company. Here you can see all the um, 
catalog records. And here is a description. So you can also add the link here if you want to. Then pictures and videos. If, oh, okay. Just before it was right here. Uh, it was all right. Okay, so here it's working well. So you can see here the video from YouTube and then the three different images. Then I go back to the stand. Welcome back here later. Here you can see your logo, innovation. And as I said, for them, they decided to put a link on news. So if you click on here, it will open a new window and show the, page, the web page they wanted um, us to see. So to the website in this press section. Um, okay, so this is for the general information. Then we can go to the presented product. It's for your catalog here. If you want product to be displayed here, you will have to fill in this part, the presented product. Um, so what's new here? What's new is uh, you can decide to have a product uh, on the top or below, thanks to the arrow here. So the first one here will be the one you'll see. So I have to go back here. That will be displayed uh, at the beginning on the, um, on the virtual stand. So we can see here, this is this bottle, which is here. If you have filled, of course, the, um, uh, the product uh, image, so if I'm going here on this product, all those fields are mandatory. So I advise you as the same for general information to field first uh, all the mandatory fields, save uh, at the bottom of the page here. And then you can um, fill in all the, all the optional fields. If you add uh, this product register at the challenge contest uh, and will win the medals, uh, I strongly advise you to say yes and then uh, to add the sample numbers. You can drop here, uh, drag and drop here the illustration of your bottle. And then what's new also here, it's a product data sheet. You can have it in English or in French. It will appear um, just right here. View the product, technical file, French or English. And you can see here all the information you put there, say they are displayed on the product here. So all those information, are the, all those fields are the same um, as in January. And then for the keywords, we uh, made it um, more readable because before it was uh, uh, quite small and I think people just missed this part. Um, so you can add two keywords, either in English or in French. Uh, it's one word per line, that's really important. For example, this um, exhibitor won't see uh, all these keywords because it's too many keywords on the same. It should have been uh, one pair line. And then we should um, just save our page here. So that's about the virtual stand. Then we could see about the e-invitation. So e-invitation, it's to um, send an e-invitation to your contact. Uh, not to visitors. Uh, we usually have this question. It's only to your contact. So client, prospect, uh, whoever you want uh, with a professional into wine and alcohol, alcoholic beverage. Um, you have here a review of the um, email you sent, your number of contact, 
uh, the PDF, the invitation you downloaded, and also the people who the, your contact will register. Uh, you can personally personalize your invitation here uh, in specifying your if you want to e uh, replay email and also the address amount you unsubscribe and name of the sender you can either do you use your company name or uh, also your own name you can add a logo don't forget to save here and then you can create your invitation by default um, the e invitation will look like this but you can you are able to personalize it for instance you can personalize you can personalize it either in english and in french in english for example you you could say family fab are welcome uh, uh please sorry to welcome you and then here we could say we are really happy to see you again on the invitation um i think it will be oh no i haven't saved so you see what's important to save uh, okay e invitation save so then if i go back here to see the preview you can see we are really to we are really happy to see you again as soon as you have saved uh, and previewed um, your english versions and you can switch to the french version if you want and you are able also to change it if you want um, hello this is the french version and the subject of your email save and preview here and we can see that hello this is a print version it had been changed and you can go back to the english version if you want you can see it has been still saved then if you want to send your e invitation you can either uh, just add a contact one by one or upload a list of contacts so here we have no contact so i'm going to upload a list of contact here this is step one and four I have to drop and uh, to drag and drop uh, all. Your meeting with Nora O U L D C O L L A B O R A T E U R will start in few minutes. Crystal, j'ai mis sur pause parce que il s'est passé. Sorry for this short break. Uh, it was just a notification that uh, I'm going to show you later. Uh, so we we were on uh, adding um, uh, a list of contacts. So you can click here and choose. Um, I'm going to choose all my file of contacts. So um, I've created uh, a file with my contacts, their name, and so on. Um, to add them and to send them uh, uh, the invitation. You, so we can see it here. Then I click on upload. This is the second step um, to uh, upload uh, my contact. So we can see here an example of the name of the society of the um, of the society. So I can of the company. So I can see here. Yes, this is winery. Come to is it last name? Yes, this is last name. This is first name. Yeah, I can see here because I know that's their first name. Here, this is email, and here there is nothing because there is three dots. So I can say, don't download, don't download. Here, don't download either, and don't download the city. 
However, I've added the country here. So I can say save. And if I see there is something wrong here, I can still upload a new file and go back to the step before. I save. Wow, on my 12 contact, I can see there were two um, uh, error, line seven. Ah, oh, yes, because here there is a comma and here there is a comma. Um, so I can either decide to go on without those two uh, email contacts, or I can either decide to go uh, upload a new file and to correct uh, those lines to make it correct. I'm gonna go just write this, uh, just like that. Um, even if those two uh, contacts won't be uploaded. I upload. Oh, this has been successfully uploaded. I'm happy. So I'm gonna back to my list. All my contact is here. And as you can see, I've put the country only for, for France. Um, I'm gonna explain why. Here, you'll select the invitation template you wish to send. Okay, I want to send the French invitation first. So then I will sort them by country and it will be easier here just to tick on all the French country. Imagine you have 100, 100 of French invitation. You can just say, hey, I want a list of, of 1000 uh, and then you can tick them all. That will be a lot of, that will be easier, definitely easier for you than to tick them one by one. I also want you to pay attention here. If you haven't sent any invitation yet, you can still um, update the contact or delete it. Once you have sent uh, the invitation, it's not possible to delete them. So that's really important. Here, I can just click on send an invitation to the selected contact. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I want to do that. Then I go back here. You can see the state here is different and you can't delete them any anymore. The invitation sent. Uh, Your meeting with Nora O U L D C O L L A B O R A T E U R is starting. Sorry for that. Sorry, that was a notification for an appointment I had on the digital fair. That's a new option, so you will see that later. Uh, I'm gonna show you. So here, what's important to see is a different status here. And you can see my contact list. You can see all the, all the contact here. Or you can say, oh, I just want to see the, invite, the invitation that I, I still have to send. Or you can see, okay, uh, what e invitation I already sent. So those two five, that can be something useful for, for you. Also the registered contact. Something you, you must know, maybe you won't be the only one to send an invitation to a company. And this company, um, if they uh, register with someone else e invitation, uh, you won't see it unfortunately uh, in your registered guest because they didn't register thanks to your, um, to your e invitation, but thanks to someone else. Um, However, you'll still be able to see them uh, on the list of visitors if they accepted to be, if they agreed to be contacted uh, by exhibitor. Uh, about um, appointments, I'm gonna show you this part, my appointments. So here, my appointments, something really important. Every um, person who should go, uh, who, should, who will need um, an access to the digital fair must um, have uh, fill in this part, page and pages and availability. Um, um, so with the uh, year and the title, last name, first name, this is new, position in French, position in English, your email is where you will receive your badge. So I, I, I really advise to don't use the same email address for uh, for um, different um, collaborators, uh, or it's going to be um, a bit difficult to find um, the, your your badges for the different person you access. And then we also added the mobile phone uh, without the zero at the beginning. 
the the picture is is mandatory you will have to add it and then you just uh, you can delete it uh, as well and then at the end you can just save the modification as soon as the collaborator is added you will be able to um, to set uh, the different availability you can say either if you're available or not available uh, for example, for lunch break, you can say, okay, I'm Manon and I'm not available. Here, I, I want you to pay attention. There is a different uh, thing here with writing busy on, on it. We can see if we want to change. It's not writing busy. I'm, I'm going to show you why. As soon as uh, you have at least uh, one collaborator, you can see all the um, so you you can accept or refuse visitor requests. So pending visitor request is where um, the request from visitor will arrive. You can either decide to accept it or to decline it. Here um, you have more details on their asking. So this request uh, is a test for a webinar. Thanks to accept it uh, in in order to uh, show a confirm readable. Rendezvous. So I'll do it. I accept it. And then I can choose my collaborator. For, so I was Manon and I want this meeting to be here the 18th of March uh, at 2 p.m. Remember that it's French time. Um, yes, it's French time. So you have to be careful with this. If I go back to the availability of Manon, then we will see that at 2 p.m. Oh, she is busy. Yeah, because she has a, a confirm appointment, that's why. She confirmed the appointment coming from the visitor. So if you wanted to um, decline, you could, and you could also have uh, add a message, for example, or if you want to say, finally, I'm not available, I can say, okay, finally, that's not a good slot. I have to change, or maybe it's better if you go to with another collaborator. I have to cancel and add a message with this appointment uh, to change the collaborator. And then you can just make another request. To make another request, they can either send you another one or you can send them another one if they are on the list of the visitor with which you be contacted. So here are all my pending um, uh, requests that I did. Um, I advise you not to do too many because then, for example, if we say, uh, if we look at Louis-Jacques Ramin, Louis-Jacques Ramin, is quite busy. So then if you are too busy, you won't be able to accept another uh, appointment that a, visit a visitor may have done. So that, that's important uh, that you don't um, send too many invitations to visitors. By the way, how to send a uh, request to visitors? Here is a list of visitors we agreed to be contacted. Let's click on it. All right. That's all the visitors uh, that had been uh, the war um, registered for the digital fair. Uh, what changed here? The registration dates. You'll be able to see the registration dates, um, and you have uh, more criteria. For example, I'm looking for um, French. Uh, where is France? Here. And then, actually, I want Corbier. Oh, there is nothing in appellation. That's normal, because imagine if you could find all the appellation in the world, it would be a lot. So first, you have to say country of interest of the piece that you're looking for. I'm looking for uh, a French who is coming from France. I use a little hour here. Then I'm going to go in Languedoc-Roussillon. And then I'm going to look for Corbière. And here, there are appellation, all the appellations uh, for Languedoc-Roussillon. 
And here I can see all the visitors who are looking uh, for Corbière. And I can also look at their details. They are looking uh, mostly uh, of wine from Languedoc Roussillon in France, wine um, for wine, uh, still wine, sparkling wine, sweet wine. So for this one, they are from the press, but you can also uh, sort them by activity if you want it um, imported, for example. Uh, or, hmm, that's not a real example retailer. Okay, so if you want to send, for example, um, an, uh, an appointment request to Mayol Alexandre, you will click on add. And then you can say, we um, I advise you to specify your request. Um, I'm going to say nothing. I can choose a collaborator. So yeah, let's get a meeting for Manon. And here I can see uh, all the uh, slots are available. If I was um, setting an appointment for Louis Jacques Ramin, I can see, OK, is unavailable. And if the visitor was unavailable, it will be re written on it too. OK, let's say this one. Yes, I confirm. So then I can look at all my requests I did to visitor just behind here. All your confirm appointments will be here. And you can still cancel or say you are, you are finally available and add a message. The process overview is just as the overview of all the action you did. If you want to do an action, you don't do it here. You'll do it in pending visitor request, your request to visitor and confirm appointments. Then the last thing we have to see on my VTBO business is info and contact. A link to the exhibitor guide here again, and then our email address to contact us if you didn't find any uh, the information you were looking for in the exhibitor guide. And then something important, you, are, you will have a direct link to the digital, digital fair just right here. So from now you don't have one, but you will. So what was the sound just before? It was a notification to say that I had a scheduled meeting. So that's why uh, the sound you hear, that was this notification um, calling me, hey, don't forget your appointment. Okay. So I'm going to go at the home page. So this is the home page where um, so every uh, visitors and exhibitor has the same page. So please don't uh, register as a visitor. You will have more problem to um, log in because you will have two access code, one as a visitor and one as the exhibitor. But actually, the digital fair is the same uh, for both of you. Um, here we have, a, uh, we have a view as a visitor because I can see they um, say, okay, you, the, um, they are exhibitor that can match with what I'm looking for. So you will, as an exhibitor, you, you will have this also, but it will be random. Um, here I can see uh, the medal winner hall uh, with all the products. Uh, my next appointment here. So this is something new as well. The contact suggestion. Um, here, I think you'll like it. It's all the visitor that can match with your catalog uh, record. So that's why it's important to feel, to feel it's right. Uh, you can contact them uh, or have more information about them. Uh, you can also add them here uh, in your contact list. And you can also watch all the replay of the conference from the January session, all the press documents, and here will be the news. We are still, uh, tr well still working uh, uh, on this platform, so I apologize of this empty box here. And sometimes if we, we may have a neural message, so I apologize about it uh, first. Profile, so it's here where I can say, okay, I want to be visible uh, for the other attendees. Uh, I want to say, yes, I am available. If I'm in a meeting, I say, I won't be available. 
accept notification and accept audio notification. Here is the agenda where I have the list of all my appointments for the day and the three next day. Here is your favorite. I'm going to show you that later. And then here your contact. To be in your list on, in, of contacts, uh, you should have um, at least um, at least have a video conference or at least have a um, uh, live chat with them. Um, I want to show you something new um, about notification. Christelle, um, would you mind to send me a live chat, please? Christelle, I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, so yeah, I can see that I got a message from Crystal. And because I haven't answered yet, um, I can block, still block this user. I don't want to block uh, Crystal, so I'll say, let's start um, a video. <laughs> And now uh, Crystal is calling me. So she, I, I, I think she haven't any um, uh, camera, so maybe it won't work on the side. Here, this is a really important message. You have to say, yes, use your micro and um, also your camera, yes, or it won't work. Hmm. It did not work, I don't know why. Okay, we'll do it again. Um, Chrysia, could you please uh, call me again? Thank you. Hmm. I don't know why. Oh, it's not working because actually I'm uh, I'm using the um, camera for the webinar. That's why. But usually your camera is here and. Uh, your attendee is here. Uh, it's not uh, shown because um, uh, uh, Crystal hasn't got a camera. Okay, so this is how it works. Thank you, Crystal. And then you still have the help um, here. Let's see on the menu. So you have uh, your home page. This is a home page. Then all the exhibitor, the middle winner, all product partner, conference, and attendees. Uh, I want to show you how to save. Um, for example, if I go to the family fabre, uh, as we did just before, the one I show you. Um, so it's here. Add to my favorite, and then I can see here my favorite is here. It's the alphabetical order. And if I want to remove it from favorite, that's possible. Uh, usually, if I um, if he is a visitor to contact you, they will see your availability and the message icon here. Uh, it's not here because we are uh, working on it, uh, but be sure it will be here. If you're not available, they can send a notification uh, to you and clicking by this button. We're going to go to the middle uh, middle uh, winner hall. Um, so you have a different uh, way to sort uh, the results and the medal will appear here. That's really important. If you have uh, win a medal that you make sure that you add your product, you have added your product and you have also added the right number for the sample. And yeah, I can also add it to my favorite and then it will appear here on my product. Here we are. Back to easy people. Okay. And the last thing new here is about attendees. Um, I guess you, you remember um, it was quite hard to find a visitor. Now it's different. You can um, you you are able to choose. For example, let's say, okay, France activity. I want someone 
with uh, into GMS pure and uh, organic. And then you can see, oh, you have two contacts here. So it's way easier. You can also choose by the uh, function you want to, or the last name, first name, company, and then you can reset it. So this is a view uh, about the digital fair. I try to tell you everything I could about uh, the new fun functionalities. Um, I hope I haven't uh, forget anything. Um, I really hope it will help you to feel more comfortable um, with those platform and the link between them. Um, also, um, I want to thank you very much for watching this webinar. Uh, please send us a message uh, if you still have some question. Uh, I hope you enjoy this presentation and I wish everyone a successful millennium view. Thank you.